Hello, it's Jim Hutchins for the Jerusalem Connection Spot Report. Today in Israel, it's Yom Hatzmeut. It's Independence Day. It's the day when the Israelis celebrate their 65th birthday. 65 years ago, uh, David Ben-Gurion stood up in Tel Aviv and declared uh, the national independence of, and the establishment of the sovereign state of Israel. And you should know that 11 minutes after that, President Harry Truman uh, sent a message acknowledging uh, the independent and sovereign state of Israel. So it's a great day of celebration for Israelis especially and Jews worldwide. It's a day of festivities, day of fun, a uh, day of fireworks and falafels. It's a great day of celebration. And we celebrate with them. We praise the Lord that, that the Lord has been faithful to his word. And I think it's important to recognize that the modern state of Israel uh, is a fulfillment of God's prophecy through uh, all the prophets, uh, matter of fact, but especially Ezekiel, I think. Ezekiel says this <clears throat> in chapter 36. He says, I will show the holiness of my great name. His name is at stake, the name of Yahweh. I will show the holiness of my great name, which has been profaned among the nations, the name you have profaned among them. Uh, then the nations will know that I am Yahweh I will, when I show myself holy through you before their eyes. Then he says this, I will take you out of the nations and I will gather you from all the countries and bring you back into your own land. Now that's part one of this prophecy and that's been fulfilled. It's a partial fulfillment uh, of God, his covenant promise to provide a national homeland for the Jews. Now the second part of this is yet to be fulfilled. I, or Ezekiel recognizes this. He says, then I will sprinkle, sprinkle clean water on you, and you will be clean. I will cleanse you from all your impurities and from all your idols. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will remove from your heart, uh, from you a heart of stone and give you a heart of the flesh. I will put my spirit in you and move you to follow my decrees and be careful to keep my laws. You will live in the land I gave your your forefathers. You will be my people and I will be your God. I will save you from all your uncleanness. Now that's yet to take place, but it will take place as literally as the first part of the prophecy about God bringing them back from all the countries where he has dispersed them. So it's a great day of celebration. There are many that are in Israel today, for example, that uh, were Holocaust survivors and they have made their way to Israel. It's probably the safest place on planet Earth for Jews, especially in view of the fact that uh, anti-Semitism is on the rise world over. Uh, and recognizing that, I've mentioned this before, I think it's good to mention again, we've got some new viewers. Uh, we have established a safe house network to provide safe houses for Jews if and when that's necessary. It's hard to realize or hard to imagine that would be necessary in, this, uh, in the United States, but it could very well happen. So if you'd like to know more about that, think the Lord may have you to take part in a Safe House Network, um, go to our website, the JerusalemConnection.us, and uh, scroll down to the bottom of the, of the home page, and you'll see the link to Safe Houses. Hit that link, and you'll get some more information about it. So, um, I mentioned earlier that Israel has... Uh, there are many Holocaust survivors that have found their way to Israel. There's some who are in the United States. As a matter of fact, we had a very delightful visit recently uh, with a Holocaust survivor, a woman 88 years old, and, uh, uh, and we were brought together with them because she'd seen a painting that my wife had done uh, concerning the Auschwitz album. She has that whole series of paintings. You can see them on our website. The Auschwitz album revisited. And she's done a picture uh, that this woman recognized of her two brothers and her mother, both of whom died in the Holocaust. And uh, she lives here in the Washington, D.C. area, and we were united, and it was a very dear, very special meeting. She brought her daughter with her, and we talked about safe houses there. And uh, the daughter said, well, if anything like that happens in this country, you want to come to your house. And I said, uh, you'd be welcome to do that and uh, we'd be honored to have you. And as I thought about that later, uh, I thought that uh, very likely 
if Jews will need safe houses in the future, very likely Christians will need safe houses as well. So we wait and see what transpires, and I'm reminded also of the prayer that Jesus told us to pray in uh, uh, Luke 21, 36. He says, be always on the alert and prayerful that you may have the power to escape all that is about to happen and to stand before the Son of Man. That's our prayer. God bless you. God bless Israel. God bless the United States. Till next week, Ode Kiyavoshilo, or to Messiah comes, Shalom Aleichem.